I welcome you tonight to Tables Night School for Recovering Scaling Addicts. Class is in session and today's agenda is weekly scaling comps. If you take a look-see here over at the syllabus, you'll see three main takeaways. One, never ever take a toy that does not scale your team. Number two, once you've started scaling up one of these low tier units, never ever pivot away from it as you may lose its stats that you worked so hard for. Number three, buy as many passive early scalers as possible. I'm looking at you, Skeledog, and Giraffe, but he's not in the weekly. I hope you enjoyed today's lecture and maybe learned a thing or two. For now, let's jump right in. Ooh, get a little double ferret. I'm not sure how I feel about double ferret. Well, I don't think I like it. At least not tier turn one. Because, like, what are we doing if not just running two, two ones, right? A single ferret is fine. We <laughs> we draw against a double mouse team. That is, well, I'll leave that up to you to decide what that is, but <laughs> I've got some thoughts in mind. All right, so we got a couple of these homies here. Doesn't look like this is going to end well for us. Actually, it's fine. It's a, a draw again. It means the same as a loss on turn two in this instance, except for the part where I feel better about myself. <laughs> you know, it's, it's that momentum thing, right? The fact that we aren't really any different off than we would have been otherwise, but it feels like we were, you know? Okay, fortunately they don't have trumpets, otherwise we would get kind of sauced here, I think. Oh, that was a fortunate mana snipe there. I think we would have drawn if the mana hit anybody else. What do we, got? we got an egg here we could run. I don't really know what else we're really going for here. We need to find another ferret so we can pill this pangolin. There's the ferret. <laughs> okay. I think in this instance we grab a balloon here. Um, I think we can just pill right now. We want to get health on the guinea fowl, right? And we'll probably end up selling the ferret, I think. The puppy is just so much better than the ferret. Because you can pick who you want the lasagna to hit. You don't have to have the, the homie up front. Because it's surprisingly difficult when you have to keep the homie up front. It limits your, your team choices significantly. Alright, so we're gonna hold the puppy for a little bit. Maybe we can find some duplicates or something. Um, for now we got we got a homie here we can work with. There's another puppy. Speaking of duplicates, I think we might just do it like this. Now we're not gonna play the, the toy yet, but this is at least mo better use of our mana. Not mana. Better use of our gold. That's tough. Actually, it's not too tough. Yeah, his... <laughs> his homie just sauces his entire team because of our Kelly Greyhound. I always have to mouse over to see what their names are, because I never I never remember when it's something like Kelly Greyhound. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, I mean, Skeleton Dog is tempting, but I don't think it's happening here. I'm one of those, like, if you can get Skeleton Dog early, I'll full send that thing. But, you know, if you're already almost to tier 4, I mean, it's a short window in which that is actually useful, in my opinion. You gotta get it early, you gotta get some levels on it. At this point, we have better options. Oh, we do have the puppy angle here. Is it better than just running a Stingray? I'm not sure. We do get a level up, which, you know, we can we can slot in a Skeledog here, just because we're... I don't want to freeze a whole bunch of stuff and then not have room for anything. Um, well, this is good. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> we don't need the Skeleton Dog after all. Okay. We'll go here, we get the, the toy trigger, we get some stats. I think we're in a good spot. Now, was it the the best use of money that turn? Not necessarily, but I think it was a 
it was a calculated risk that we took. And it didn't pay off this time, but it could have, you know. There is a world in which we level up into something useless, and then we just keep the Skeledog. Hey, lasagna, I think. If we're keeping Guinea Fowl, we want to put it on Guinea Fowl. I don't know if we're keeping him, to be honest. I think there's definitely a world in which we don't. Go here. I mean... There's an argument to... Okay, maybe we keep the guinea fowl. There's an argument to have this this puppy just toss him in there. You know, just for the experience, getting closer to level 3. I don't know if it's really worth it, but there's an argument to be made. And we're good by one health. Thank you very much. All right, so we still got the puppy. We'll throw in these two. Roll. I mean, it's got to go on the Mosasaurus, right? When you have a toy that's like just about to go off, you gotta. Now, Slipnir is very good. We just don't have like an easy sell to get him this turn and put him next to the Mosasaurus. I think we're just gonna have to make do with what we got. Fortunately, we will have just enough to take him out. Keep the puppy in the back. Get another puppy going. Now, I think we run near here. It's serving the same function. Um, albeit, we need to get some more stats on him to make him get the same mana. But that won't take too long. Pepper's pretty good. I just don't know if it's good enough, you know? Guinea fowl and chocolate? That's pretty good. So we'll probably end up using the chocolate on the, the slept here, I would imagine. Oh, baby, we're cooking. Oh, baby, we're cooking. See, this team is looking pretty good. The scaling toys are, are killing it for us, to be honest. Okay, maybe we put it on the puppy? I don't know. I think slept near is still good. We're not dying for a level 3 puppy toy, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, and okay. I think we gotta get rid of the guinea fowl here. Because we can sell him. It's tough. Let's level the slave near, I think. And then we can decide. Yeah, we gotta. Because now we can get sea serpent and... Callie Greyhound mana triggers from the Slipnir, since he's level 2. So that's going to be perfect. That's exactly what we're hoping for here. Now the beauty of the Sea Serpent is he doesn't need any stats. Well, that was <laughs> underwhelming. But the Callie Greyhound pulls through for us. Now, keep in mind, we don't get Goldens anymore, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, these will most certainly be going on the Slipnir. Refresh the toy. Um, This is kind of tough. I think we try to get kind of two angles going here. Because really the, the Sea Serpent is the most important. The Mosasaurus level 3 is not doing... It's not tipping any needles if you know what I'm saying. But that's not good. <laughs> I'm missing our... I'm missing our... Uh, our Goldens at this point. Oh, we do find a puppy and a sea serpent. Okay. Okay, so we're running like this. I don't mind giving the sea serpent some stats here. I think it's better to put sea serpent behind the Cali Greyhound. Ooh, chicken leg. Behind the Cali Greyhound because Cali Greyhound will nuke the health of their big homies and then the sea serpent will take out the next biggest homies. Or in this case, just the random guys. <laughs> they only had one big guy, so it didn't really work that well. But the idea is there. And we're still going here, I think. Get another toy. So in theory, we should pick toilet paper here. Because we're on nine wins and we want to win. Now, I just want to make it completely clear. I would much rather... And we'll put chocolate. Yeah, yeah, we'll put pepper on you. 
I would much rather go scaling in this situation because it's a safety net, right? In case you do happen to lose, you in two turns you get another power spike, right? And look, we lost. Even with the friggin' toilet paper we lost. <laughs> Would I rather be having lasagna trigger next turn? Of course. Of course I would. This is, this is my argument here, right? Anything can happen. I don't think that these toys are really tipping the needle, right? Um, this is... Eh, well, well... Like we draw. And this is exactly what I mean. <laughs> We are no better off right now than we were two turns ago, except for that the Mosasaurus got his trigger. We'll try the toilet paper again, because at this point we kind of have to. We don't have enough hearts, and we can't bet on a draw. But would I rather have three lasagnas right now? Of course. Without a doubt. That's all I'm saying. I think that the scaling toys... You should always run scaling toys in general. <laughs> Just a hard and fast rule. Um, it's looking like we're gonna be okay. We got fortunate snipe, screwed up his dog. We'll take it. But hey, this is why you don't run non-scaling toys. I, this, if anything, has cemented my position. Always run scaling toys, even if you're on nine wins. <laughs> I mean, I always start a gibbon. Ferret is okay. We'll take the tennis ball. Ferret gecko is pretty good. Yeah, I think we're okay here. We probably... Yeah, let's run it like this. Keep the gradients going well, while we don't care about the given effects yet. Uh, they don't have any snipes. That's fantastic news. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Turns out they kind of do. They got the mana. Alright, so now we do care about given, so we're going to want to restructure a little bit here. Now we could combine a given and side stack geckos, which to be to be completely transparent would be stronger. But since we're already at five hearts, we don't really care what happens here. Maybe we could have gotten a win there, but in this case we get an extra health on our given. <laughs> which one would you rather have? A win or a health on our given? Okay, that I'm seeing double. I mean, how do you not just run a scaly dog here, you know? You could stack a double puppy, but what's that doing for you, you know? You know what I'm saying? Maybe we're going level 3 Gibbon. Maybe. We'll see. Um, that's gonna hurt. We do have a ginormous gecko. Guy's running strawberry in the back. What an insane man. What an absolute mad lad. Alright, African Penguin's huge. Love it. If you're wondering why we have him up front, it's because we don't want to buff him with our Skelly Dog. So we're kind of accepting a slight power decrease for a permanent scaling on a unit we care about. Which I think I think is a reasonable reasonable stance. I think we could work with that. I messed up my Gibbon, though. He only buffed one homie. Not that it would really matter putting a little extra health on a puppy. Because, you know, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, it, it's a mistake. I'm not trying to say it's not. I'm not trying to play it off or anything. Okay. So we don't care again about the Gibbon yet. But we will care about it next turn. Heal trap. Lock it in. Oh, hold on. Our African penguin actually paid off there? <laughs> what the heck? That wasn't part of the game plan. Alright, so now we restructure here. I mean, it's tough, right? Like, we want our gibbon in a good spot so that it buffs, <laughs> buffs certain homies more than others. Oh, we actually want to get the rock here. Okay, I'm running like this. I like this. We're actually planning to keep the rock here. This feels like a solid team setup to me. 
Okay. This is looking promising. Yeah, okay, we're good. Don't care, 45451. Five, How do you come up with a name like that? Is that like auto-generated? It has to be. Ain't no way somebody just like came up with that as something that they want to do. I mean, when offered a turtle pill, how do you say no, right? How do you just bit in the face of a turtle pill like that? Another rock. Um, I would rather wait a second. Get a, a few extra buffs from our skelly dogs here. And then we can turtle pill. It was an awkward man account last turn is the issue. We get a draw, that's fine. Like, I don't want to be four squatting when we could have two skelly dogs, you know what I'm saying? But now that we're at 10, an attack, 10, <laughs> oh my god, 10 gold is what we're going for. Okay. What are we looking for? Duplicates, probably. I mean, probably gonna Gario. Gario can get you melons, too. And you don't have to four squat it. We get a level up next turn. Maybe we wanted to put the Garyle up front. I don't know. We're not really looking to keep him, right? So you don't want the Skelly Dog to buff him? Hmm. Tough. That's fine. M Drum 93. Emergency Drum. When your drum is having issues, you get an M Drum flown in. Both very good tier sixes. Just in a vacuum, really solid. On this team in particular, <laughs> I'm not sure we need them. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of enjoying this like chill, low tier pet kind of vibe. Another Highland Cowl, <laughs> I don't know. I can't decide. We'll, we'll hold on to him for a second. So the rock repeats six. So is that seven triggers? Because it repeats six times. Is that how this works? We're going to set it up like this. Now it's going to look absolutely insane here, but we're trying to get the melon on the rock ultimately without absolutely wasting its ability. Um, where, how the heck do we win that one? Okay. We'll take it. Our team is pretty good. Alright. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Return to base. This is where it really comes into handy, I think. Comes in handy. These, like, early scaled units, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I don't know. Chocolate on the <laughs> skelly dog <laughs> just can't be the play, right? Oh, man. There's another one. Okay, fine. We'll buff him. Now that's more like it. Get a mongoose out here. Start getting some more team scaling. Maybe grab a puma as well. We'll put mongoose behind the skelly dog, because in all likelihood, we're probably going to keep him around for a bit. Okay. Ooh, that was a nice snipe. Actually, I guess it wasn't. I don't think it was actually that good of a snipe, to be honest, because they didn't have any summons. We sniped their summon energy. Ooh, this is... Ooh, hold on. We can get a puma out here. We can double stack the puma, right? Now we're just going to get a ton of scaling from the toy here. Yeah, I think I like this. And then hopefully we can find a second mongoose or chocolate. Ooh, hold on. Pixiu? That's just some gold, right? Get the rock going on the Pixiu? Yeah, let's do that. Just in... It should be able to work with three in front of the rock, I think. But just in case, let's run it like this. What do you got? No snipes. Fantastic. We're just making gold out here. We're making the big bucks. Beautiful. This team... How do we still have five hearts, by the way? 
Anyone want to riddle me that? <laughs> and we get a chocolate in the next shop. Ready for our mongoose level up? That's incredible. Okay. Might as well just throw the mongoose on here, right? Well, it's cornucopia. <laughs> let's, let's see what we get. Acorn Beto? I don't really love the other two. Maybe we send it. See what we get. So we, we like the abilities of all of them. But maybe we just get rid of you. Yeah. I don't know what I was hoping for, but... <laughs> the hedgehog was not it. That was not the goal in mind. Alright. Melons absorbed the snipes. That's a good start. And we win by two health. Fantastic news. Let's see what we get here. Another, uh, I was hoping for another Kung Peito, but... Yggdrasil is fine, I guess. Throw it on the back, homie. Gives you a little extra survivability. Don't get me wrong. I would love to get rid of this... Uh, this hedgehog. You can get another Conpeto from a Cornucopia. Yeah, okay. You can run a Puma. Or a Pixiu. Waffle, just in case. If we don't win here, we can run a pretty decent turn. What the heck is this guy even running? Three level one Shrimp homies? Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. <laughs> Sorry there, it's, it's just not gonna do it. That's incredible, we got a 5 health win. Turn 13. Slow scalers, kinda cracked out of their minds a little bit. Just a little bit, they're, they're pretty solid. <laughs> they're looking good, I'll tell you that much. A double gecko. Without a toy. <laughs> I don't think there's any feasible way we win this, short of them, like, running a mouse in, in back or something. But we do draw, because they're running triple gecko. Dude, if we had a third gecko, that would have been three geckos on three geckos. How insane would that be? I mean, four geckos is also pretty cool, don't get me wrong. But it's not... It's not six geckos, you know what I'm saying? It's not... Not as many as you could find on turn one. That's not going to end well. Not in the slightest. Okay, if we can get a toy, I think we're in a good spot here. We get a level, we could get a puppy. Not a puppy. That's close. That's super close to a puppy, but that's not a puppy. That's a dog. And we're just simply not running a level 3 Kiwi. That would be ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We'll, we'll work with it. I can't decide if I like Rambutan in this weekly. Is it really good? Is it really cutting the cake, if you will? I'm not sure. I'm not convinced that it is. Hummingbird. Grab a ferret. Now there's a very real chance we overwrite this, so we're running tennis ball here. If I can find a puppy, I will instantly purchase one. Next turn, of course. I'm not going to find one right now. Snipe. Also tough snipe. I feel like we got pranked there a little bit. I'd have to run the numbers on that one, but that, that feels like we <laughs> we should have done better on that one than we did. Maybe that's just copium, I don't know. Got a puppy here. Two puppies. Not bad. You set it up like this. We're probably getting rid of the Kiwi, I would think. Okay, Frost is doing nothing for us, but it doesn't need to. We'll take it. Occam's Electric Razor. I, I don't get the reference. If anyone gets that reference, let me know. Sounds pretty cool. 
or menacing. It could also be very menacing. Kind of has that vibe as well. <laughs> so I don't know. All right, puppy, puppy part two. We get a third one. That'd be insane. Okay, similarly insane. We get three skelly dogs. All right, now I'm pumped. This is gonna be a skelly dog game. I can feel it. <laughs> We're going full skeleton dog. If it can work, it'll work right here. Probably, maybe. That's fine, we'll take it. Get a little golden at the end of the day. Get a level up into a big you scorpion. We don't have the infrastructure to support a pixie right now. The stats are pretty okay, but I don't think it's gonna gonna make the cut. Ooh, I like that though. Another skelly dog. Dude, what is up with all these skeleton dogs? Not ideal. Okay. This is where we have to make some decisions here. The team is not doing exactly what we need it to do. Um, really helping too much, to be honest. Maybe we get rid of the puppy here. We can set up for a stingray coming up. I don't love freezing a pet for this long, but since it is a tier 5, I think it's okay. Oh, this guy's enormous. Oh gosh. That's just, just not gonna end well. This skeleton dog scaling needs to pick in, pick up like right now, or we're not gonna do well. You know what? <laughs> Let's just run it. Um, well, this is kind of awkward. So the guinea fowl is going to get stats, right? We even organize this. Because as soon as it gets hit one time, it's going to summon a 2-2 two, two golden, and then it can't summon anything ever again. If it's in the back. But if the... <laughs> if the frost wolf is in the back, then nothing is there to trigger its... its frost. And therein lies our, our conundrum. I think we just accept this. Okay. I mean, we were like a little bit close, maybe, if you squint. Alright, get the level three, cut out all these shenanigans <laughs> when we got going here. Um, I mean, I know we kept Stingray for a, a really long time, but we also have a Mongoose. <laughs> I feel bad not playing the Stingray, though. Let's... Uh, if, we, if we just use our logical, discreet brain, it makes more sense to run Mongoose here. IMO. I'm sorry, Stingray. I led you on. And I apologize. Okay. I mean, this is looking good. This is... I won't say good. This is a decent team. It actually worked out for us. The bad summon order from the golden. What do we got? Pancakes, I guess. And mushroom skelly dog, of course, for even more scaling. I think we can put in a Mosasaurus here. That just seems good. Okay, so we're getting 6-6 six, six per turn from the skelly dog. We're getting 10-10 ten, ten every two turns from the TV. And we're getting 4-6 every two turns from the Mosasaurus. I mean, that's, like, that's not an insignificant amount of scaling. Uh, 
drop it on you. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Finish the song, anybody? Anybody? Wonderland, winter? We don't get many of those down in Florida. Okay, that hurt a little bit, not gonna lie. Oh, we're good. <laughs> we're actually good, all right. I didn't see the name, I saw enjoy your blank. Probably nothing worth reading, to be honest. I guess the Frost Wolf here. Uh, we could freeze. Yeah, let's go Mushroom here. Could we go get a level 3? Either one. I think we'll go level 3 Mongoose next turn. Mm hmm. Hmm. Not gonna cut it. We will take our L. We're down to one heart, five wins. This is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be a tough one. I'm still going scaling, just for the record. Um, we learned our lesson. There's no reason to ever not go scaling, boys. <laughs> it is a hard and fast rule that I will stand by it forever. Now, of course, Puma does scale more than our Mosasaurus does. However, Mosasaurus already has a lot of stats. I'm not looking to, to pivot on one heart. Let's just, let's just let it ride. We absorb the egg. Fantastic news. Perfect lethal? <laughs> oh boy. We got a perfect lethal on a scorpion. That's wonderful news. Okay. Go here, go here. Eh, whatever. So I think... Now that I think about it, we don't really need a mushroom on our, on our snow fox wolf thing, but it doesn't mean it doesn't help. Can't imagine getting porridge right now is any good. I just realized this is our first, I guess our second guinea fowl we've seen all game. How insane is that? If we win this round, I think we win with the whole thing. Um, that's not good. Actually, that's fine. Oh man, that was very close. But we did survive, which is good. We get a whole bunch of scaling. Yeah, surely we're good now, right? I would have liked some waffles there. Okay. Slightly concerning. Our toy scaling has gone kaput. Now we're just reliant on our skeleton dog. Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's all we need is our Skeledog, homie. I think it might be. Hold on. Is our Skeledog pulling through for us? Can we make like an, an insane, like, <laughs> just weird version of the game where you can stack as many health foods as you want on pets? I feel like that, that would be kind of fun. Of course we're going TV here. We're cementing the victory once we get to 9 wins. You can't tell me that wouldn't be a fun game mode. <laughs> Just insane amounts of hell food. I would play it and I know you would too, don't lie. Maybe another wacky weekly we could try it. That's a lot of Mosasaurus. I was gonna put Pepper on the Guinea Fowl, but are, are they really gonna have a 50 attack homie? Probably not, right? We got two of the same level up again. Right. We don't have time for the Mosasaurus, so I'm not gonna bother. I mean, there's another mushroom. <laughs> It's doing slightly more than the strawberry is, but I guess there's that. Oh boy. Go back to when I said they won't have a 50 attack, homie. Okay though, he didn't have any mana. They forgot to get mana pets. 
I think. I don't know if they forgot or they chose not to, but they don't have any. And now, look at this, look at this. We're on nine, nine wins. We get the upgrade. Um, we goofed up a little bit on the Mosasaurus placement, I just realized. We have... Is melon or pita bread better? I think in a vacuum, on a 50 health homie... I don't know. Melon feels better, but pita bread also is like, deceptively strong. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we got two 50-50s, almost a third. We're in a pretty good spot here. I think we're gonna be okay. Now they do have this weird homie here, but he's not really doing a whole lot. Okay, in this case, melon was better than pita bread. Let's just make a mental note of that. And we get another 10 bagger, all right. And a skelly dog achievement, if that isn't fitting, I don't know what is. So is it the skelly dog or is it the, the toy scaling that get us there. I don't know. I like to imagine it's a skeleton dog. Cause let's keep in mind, short of the Mosasaurus also scaling, you know, like, Skeledog was also getting toy scaling, he's not 50-50. Clearly the Skeledog is the reason they got the extra scaling. Not the Mosasaurus, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Just for my own sanity, I'm gonna say Skeledog did it.